can people be so, especially in a school, children are never safe anywhere nowadays. Tonight at 6, fear and concern after a former South Florida teacher confesses to having sex with a 13-year-old student. We're live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. 30-year-old Davis Hodge taught at the West Homestead K-8 Center. He's been arrested, and tonight we're hearing from one of his students and concerned loved ones. CBS Force Peter Dench joins us live from the school in Homestead with the very latest on the story. Peter. Elliot, investigators say the student's parents filed a complaint and they discovered that this started with texting and then escalated. They say that the student claimed that the teacher was her boyfriend. Meanwhile, those of the loved ones here at the school say they are truly alarmed. I'm very upset behind it. I'm very upset. That's, not, that's uncalled for. Two women with grandchildren at the West Homestead K-8 Center are deeply troubled after schools police say 30-year-old former science teacher David Hodge confessed to having sex with a 13-year-old student. She's still a child. She's a baby. He's a duck. I'm terrified. How can people be so... Especially in a school, children are never safe anywhere nowadays. An arrest report says Hodge and a student went from texting and exchanging lewd pictures last October, which he was just 12, to touching and sexual intercourse when she was 13. He said that he that this is his girlfriend, that he's in love with her, um, that they have had sexual intercourse, um, uh, according to him, on two separate occasions. One without protection, one with protection. Investigators say some of the sex crimes happened when they were alone after chess club meetings. Hodge's mother, Rhonda, told the judge she was in disbelief. This is very hard for, for us to actually believe that it's happened. David is raised in a family that believes in education. Circuit Judge Mindy Glazer ordered Hodge to have no contact with the student and held him without bond. A spokeswoman said Miami-Dade County Public Schools is deeply troubled by the disturbing allegations. As soon as the claim surfaced, the employee was immediately removed from the school setting. Conduct such as the one he is accused of will not be tolerated. With her mother's permission, I spoke with one of Hodge's students. I wasn't really surprised. Everybody kind of knew it was going to happen. What is the message here? To be careful, you never know what your teacher is doing. You never really know what's happening. A spokeswoman says that Hodge has worked for the school system since 2016. She says they have taken steps to start proceedings to fire him and make sure he does not work for the school system ever again. Meanwhile, investigators are trying to find out if there are any other victims. We are live at Homestead, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.